All right, now we see your table. Okay. I don't see my table. I see a commercial. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Like, I don't get it. Oh look, there I am. Let's see here. Where's the chat? I don't see chat. Where's it at? There it is. Oh, it's there. All right, guys. Uh, here I am. Haunted Hollow Painting, hosted at Troll Lord Games Twitch stream. So we're still painting some orcs. We're trying to finish these eyes up tonight. And I got two new things to show you all. So let's first show you what uh, the completed models. So here is the shaman that we've been working on. No, what just happened? I just bumped into my light. Sorry, guys. Yep, you sure did. I see you also flipped over to the other side of your board there. Hush. Ah! <laughs> okay. So hopefully that won't happen again. Okay. All right. My dirty hands because I have been painting and working on the car. So here is the shaman. Uh, let's make sure we got it up here to where y'all can see it. What do you think? What do you think? Oh, I like that. That came out nice. Color. Yeah, it looks pretty good, don't he? Look at that. He's a red orc. Red. Okay. Now, let's see here. Let me, I'm going to adjust this again just to make sure I don't bust into the lot. So, uh, yeah, yep, yeah, there we go. Here, let's we'll get it adjusted, folks. This is new setup that I've got. Okay, now we've did the pig riders I've been talking about. Here is a completed pig rider. Now, I hope y'all like that. Um, now, I still have to do some basing on here, which means I'm going to uh, wash the base and put some tufts on it. What do you think about that? Seem to have lost my co-host. Up, oh, sorry, I was cleaning out the pan. Uh, cleaning out the pan. Yeah, so what do you think about this uh, this pig rider? This one with the yellow armor. Yeah, no. Well, that looks that looks better with the like uh, once it's finished. It's yeah. Like, okay. See, it's like when I watch it's a lot it, more. Uh, it looks like hot garbage. A lot more that. toned down. So, yeah. I, I wanted a really small but soft dry brush. And Army Painter just released three new dry brushes. Okay. And these dry brushes are soft like makeup brushes. Smaller than a makeup, standard makeup brush like I have now. But three of them is $20. Well, I got a deal for you. At Walmart, $2. The Elf Blending Eye Brush. This is what you want right here, okay? Look at that head on that bad boy. Look at that. So we've got two more pig guys, and we're going to dry brush them real quick. So I'm going to load up my dry brush here with some uh, paint. And uh, so let me make sure. I just got to make sure I'm lined up where I need to be. All right. So we're going to come in here and start hitting this armor, this dry brush. I don't know if y'all can see how, how it's going on there. It's actually going in pretty good. I showed these off to the client today. He's like, I want some more dry brushing. So. Now, you may notice that uh, I went from the yellow to all black. That was at the client's request. Here. Now, because this dry brush is soft, I can go in circles to get everything I need to get. Okay. You see how the dry brushing there works? It's hitting all the edges here. And give me some highlights. See this kind of grim darky. Oh, I 
like it. Like it. One more. One more. We're done. Uh, yeah, but not for the night. We're not done. Because I got a cool thing that I made. And because uh, I'm poor. I'm a poor person. And uh, let's see here. I'll show you what I made today. All right. And let's get this last guy. We'll dry brush him up here. Might even build a model tonight. I don't know what we're gonna do. It's a little oh boy. Look at that. Look at that dry brushing right there. Look at that. Oink oink, baby. Ah, right, look at him. So what like dumb? Huh? You like my pig? So what color is the dry brushing? I can't tell. I'm, I'm dry brushing right now in what's called Dawnstone. It's a Citadel dry. Oh, okay. See, but look at that. Oh, look at that right there. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so so what we got today is we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten models that I want to get done tonight. So this is how it's going to work. So this is how I do things when I'm batch painting. So I've got all my basing done, base colors done on these models. I've got a lot of the work. Now it's all touch up. So. The colors I'm going to need tonight are going to be hemp rope. Let's mix it up real quick. And this is going to be for any lashings, like over skulls and things like that. I'm going to need, uh, let's see here, my golden brown, a.k.a. my leather. And we may get into what I call the 14 paints required for... Uh, batch painting tonight. I don't know if I'm going to or not, but we might. Okay, we need those two colors. Um, I'm going to need my plate mail. Okay, we need some plate mail. Which that didn't even need to be shaken up. Um, let's see here. I need ivory or aka screaming skull. Now this stuff is like water and I don't enjoy it. It's mixed up too much. It's mixed too thin. Alright, and last but not least, I am going to need some black, a bad and black. So, so we're going to grab one model at a time, and this is when I run through these things. Uh, and I even busted out ye old trusty hairdryer. So... You know that I mean some serious business. And I'm using my crap brush today. Right there. So this is my worst brush I got. And uh, let's see here. So this is the flag bearer. Um, I changed all the yellow over to red. Because um, the person that uh, I'm painting these for does not like yellow. And he prefers red paints. So uh, to yellow. So what I'm going to do here is got to clean up around these skulls. On this flag. Now, I do need to get out the old man's spectacles. Now, listen, you don't need magnifying glasses. You do not need magnifying <laughs> glasses. Go to the Dollar Tree. Buy a set of reading glasses. Right there. The same as the magnifying glasses that you get at the stinking... Um, at, um, uh, off of Amazon. Only thing is, is they're not lit up and lighting just gets in your way. That's why you build your lighting into your table. My hands are kind of shaking a little bit today. Okay, so we're going to come in here and we're going to work on getting this trim around here. This is the crap stuff. Half the time I don't even clean the brush while I'm doing this. I just shoot over to the next color. I might wipe it out. but So I'll just use it up like right here. Let's Hopefully y'all can see that. Alright. Uh, there's a big splotch right here I need to get. Like, this is where I'm hitting the big spots in the armors. That's 
needs to be hit and fixing anything else. So like I'm checking all his armor. So he's mostly black, dark colors on him. Uh, let's see here. And let's check his silvers. Okay, that's fine. So we've got, that's fine here. For what we're doing, I'm gonna put a little bit right here. And I'm still gonna wash some of his his metals. Um, his chainmail is fairly dark. I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, his leather looks good. There's a spot I missed here with the silver. Okay, I'm trying to make him look kind of dingy, like his armor's kind of rusted over a little bit. Oh, I need one more color. Uh, where is that? Uh, I had it out a minute ago. This is when I had to take the old man glasses off. So this is what happens, people. I put my co-conspirator in here and he quits talking to me. I was in the stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many people we got in the <laughs> chat room? Um, let me hit the old magic button. Oh, we have one. Hello, okay. Adwin. Adwin. Okay. So the next color I forgot is werewolf fur. Okay. So... And so what we'll do with the werewolf fur is like on the skull, there's a little bit of hair on the back of it. And so I'm gonna come in here and just block it in. It's not gonna be perfect. Cause on the skull, this is just all like scraggly old hair. It's just hanging off the back of the skull. And then I forgot that there is spots on each model where there is hair. So we're gonna hit all those as well. Make sure we hit all the leather straps. That's the key right now is leather straps. We gotta get all the leather straps. So, you can see there's a little bit of fur right here. So, we'll come back in here with the werewolf fur. Just hit the, the top of the werewolf fur. Now, see, here's the thing. I've always been like, get it to the table. This has been, more, I've, I've spent a little bit extra time than I normally would on these models. Um, even though this was a get it to the table job because he said just get it get it to where I can get it to the table. I said, okay um, I missed the, the little ring here Okay, missed a ring here ah you can't see me I'm Trying to keep my head out of the, the shot and Missed the tooth here up on this black in the front of his face. Okay. Alright, now he is pretty much ready to be washed. Now you may notice I'm cleaning my brush out down here. So, um, and what I did last week uh, where I put all that yellow into the flag here, I just came back over it with red and washed it down in red. So what we're going to do real quick, um, Let's see here. Uh, he's got some really big tuskers on him, so we're going to take and get the Agrax out. And I've got a little dish for the Agrax. Yeah, I have to go buy some new Agrax this week too. I've got to go pick up some and color shifting colors for some Necrons. So we're take the Agrax and shade brush. I'm gonna come in here on the Tuskers. Oh, wow, this thing dried out. I never used it earlier today. I don't know what happened. So. Oh, your palette's dry? No, my palette's. I just changed out the paper. It hasn't been. Oh, well, okay. We're gonna hit the Tusk. Uh, we're gonna hit this little skull right here. Where this, uh, right there. The skull here, the skull here, and the goat's head should be dry, and the hair should be dry on it as well. Okay. Bottom. 
you have a 60 silver and saw some silver where I missed that. Don't you hate that you get to the end of a model and you're like just jumping from color to color to color real quick? Yeah. Well, that's the point of tonight. No. So this is uh. So I want the 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 shade to shade more near the base of the tusk. So what I'm gonna do is I magnetize all my models. So he has winter dangle upside down. While he drives. If I could find the right dangling spot for him. I've got some places where it sticks around here. I just gotta find it. Dag nabbit. I am gonna invent something and I'm gonna sell it on the Kickstarter. Oh wait, this magnet's not that strong. Okay, let's just let it sit like this. I'm gonna lay it on its back and then let it go down. So on my Kickstarter, this is what I'm gonna do. Is it's gonna have uh, a metal piece that just rotates any direction and locks and then uh, and it's gonna lock and what's gonna happen is that I can ma take whatever I've got magnetized and uh, you know put it in any position so it can dry. So here is this next guy. He's my drum player. So what I'm gonna do is give him a once over. Um, he's missing a little bit of fur, so I'm gonna come in here. Fur right here. running around upstairs like crazy well i was gonna say i thought you were like beating on the table underneath or something and she with your drums no, 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 no. <laughs> okay ah, so let's check anywhere else no more fur no more fur leather looks good there's a strap up there i'm missing so clean the brush out so now it's just here grab this little piece of leather right there I've got a little ringlet that needs to be getting tightened right here. And the name of today's game is Speed, 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 Speed. All right. So, uh, I've got to get some oak brown. I see a spot where I'm in with the oak brown. So, and as I go, I'll be adding colors to the palette that I missed. So, here's my oak brown. So on this part right here on his drum, wonderful drum beater. All right, I'm gonna set him aside. I'm not gonna allow to shade him just yet. Okay, I'm gonna go back to this guy because our gotta get those leather straps in the back. I forgot them. I do like that palette. You should post that when we're done. What the? The list. The color right list. Here? My 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 paint lineup. Yeah, yeah. That's, your not, that's not the fourteen colors though. Well, so I know, but I like that palette, and <laughs> maybe other people do too. Uh, I don't care what you like. Uh, <laughs> we've got this fella here, so let's look at him real quick. Place where I can fix the metal at. I don't know how the kid hit. So, metal looks good. All the way around. Okay. Skin looks good. Ivory looks good. Brown looks good. Leather looks pretty good. Uh, fur. So there's some hair hanging out right here. Or leather. Can't really make it out. Oh, right in the thing. Alright, so.
so he looks fairly good. So I should be good for him. So we're gonna set him aside here. We're gonna have different washes going on tonight too, so alright. Next model. Let's see. What do we want? Let's look for Ah, uh, see we have a spot here that didn't take to the shading very well. So I'm gonna give out a little bit of this Carlsberg Crimson. Kur Kurosberg Crimson. La 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 words. that out here. We're just going to slap it on out there. Should dry just fine. Okay. Looks like uh, the old green Loonton showed up. Welcome, buddy. Who? The green Loonton. The green Loonton? I don't know green Loonton. What's the loon? That's a, that's a duck, right? Or some sort of bird? Yeah. Loon is a type of waterfowl. Ah, gotcha. I'll stick with duck. Yeah. You have to know the difference between most animals when you hunt them. I mean, there's some guess. birds that if you actually <laughs> kill them, uh, you can get a pretty hefty fine. So. any other issues with this one? Oh, leather strap. Yeah, forgot about this guy here. Just have to play dangling all the way around his hands. Those hold my breath type things. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. So the nose ring is armor. Let's see what I want to actually want to go for. Let's see what I want. All right. And I think he's good to rock and roll. Okay, let's see this bad boy here. So let's look for silver first since I've already got it on my brush. Yeah, so I went a little insane with some of this nether oil wash and it actually didn't do very good. <laughs> a little too much. Yeah, a little too much. So let's clean that up some. Alright, and I think it looks fairly good there in this uh, ivory piece right here. Yeah, the uh, so I've got some Necrons to paint and they're going to be based in black and uh, their highlights are going to be a color shifting purple. Now, you, you mean like the old like DuPont uh, like blue to purple and red, that kind of shifting? No, it's a, it's a color by Turbo Dork. Oh, okay. Right, let's see here. I think, uh, let's see if I can fur. Right here, hanging out. Uh, also looks like he's got a little bit of a shirt, so I'm going to take a... Leather shirt, in my opinion. Here is armor. Where's my teeth?
This next brush has reminds me of. I have, of I have no idea. Most of my ex girlfriends. What? Fat. Brand new and untouched? No, fat. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm horrible. Help me, Jesus. Mm -mm. Okay, let's see here. I'm glad Chuck doesn't come in here. Well, he might be in a pool right now with a with a couple fingers of whiskey. No, it's too cold up here for a pool. He's back, by the way. Oh, they came back already? I think so. He's only been uh, for three days. Means I gotta get back to work tomorrow. No, no. He, 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 if he's hiding, he's hiding. Now look, I got <laughs> a big water stain right here. Look at that. So, I'm gonna have to come in here with... Uh, some morphine brown, if I can find it. I've been cleaning my desk, so not everything is where it needs to go. Let's see. Agrax. I can fix it with the earth shade, but I don't want to. There it is, morphine. So I'm going to fix that. told y'all in the beginning you're going to have more and more and more I'm going to stress this browns 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 hey what color did I say you're going to use the most of uh, brown yeah was I being silly or was I being straight up honest yeah I think let's see I got uh, how many browns have I got one, two, three, four, four browns, four greens. <laughs> How do you lighten browns? Uh, I guess white if you're into that, but you could use red. Uh, you can no use yellow. Oh, yellow. Okay. the thing about orcs you always gotta look for that the teeth hanging off their clothes right. so how was your second edition game uh we uh we only did character creation but uh i know but that's part of the game man yeah, it was pretty good though. It went all right. Good. So we're starting, uh, yeah, this Friday. And, uh, yeah, uh well, excuse me. Ah, uh, pardon me, everybody. Uh, he's trying to get me to do a Saturday game. I'm like, no. That's when I talk to my sister and the kids. <laughs> well. When are you starting up your game? Uh, well, I was supposed to have a Dungeon Crawl Classics game this month. Uh, just a one-nighter, and then I was starting up my Castles of Crusades game. And I wanted that to be for new players. I had posted it in one of my groups for people who wanted to try to play new stuff. And you know, I wanted to introduce people to it. Uh, my son had sleepover Saturday night. And... I can't say no when a child comes to me and says, Dad, I need to, I want you to play a game with us. I said, okay. And I said, well, what's that? He says, Dungeons and Dragons. I said, it's <laughs> fine. I can't say no, especially when we're introducing a new child to role-playing. Mm -hmm. So 
Does he uh does he need any books? Uh, I'm I'm giving mine away to a good home. <laughs> I just don't see myself playing anymore. I've got them on D and D Beyond. Oh, you don't have any of the hardcovers? No. Oh well, shoot. Send me your address. I'll send them down there. Right. I could definitely use the shelf, the space on the shelf. I did at one point have some hardcovers, but I gave them away. But now people are wanting to play it again. <laughs> Let's and see. They asked me to run because nobody else wants to run a game. Oh yeah. You know how it goes. And plus, I can I could slap together a D and D game in like fifteen minutes. That's kind of how I feel with Traveler. Like, it just makes sense to me. So if any of your people want to be uh, try a new game and want to do Traveler, I'm, uh, I'm all for it. Give me a try. All right. So this guy, I think he's pretty much done. Let me get a little bit more ivory here on the bottom of the skull. I think we're good to go there. Go with that driver. Three more miniatures, man. I think we're making some good time. What do you think? Oh, yeah. That's only, it's only 830, man. Man, just slap on a different color. Okay. This is when you're in that last push. You're just like, I don't even know what to do. Yep. Uh, <laughs> the, the pain is real. The pain is real. I've got three models left, and I haven't even touched them in like two weeks. So close to being done, and I just can't do it. <laughs> you sometimes just get sick of it. I, yeah, and it's like I gotta, I gotta recharge, man. Hair dryer. Setup's working. What do you think? Yeah, you haven't uh, nearly shook the camera. Uh, besides that time you rammed your head into it. Uh, yeah. But yeah, it looks it looks pretty good. It's stable, focused. Oh, Daniel, stay focused. <laughs> All right. Now, let's see here. This fella here. The only spot on his. And what are these guys again? These, these units? The Iron Jaw Orcs. Ah. From Age of Sigmar. Mm hmm. And so I realized why he did not like the yellow. He said, I hate yellow. It's the worst color ever made. I was like, okay. Tell them I'll bring my sepulchre, sepulchre guard and some skellies and I'm whoop on them. Yeah, you have to draw the wizard for it for that one. <laughs> when you get ready to send those, you should uh, make sure you do a session on uh, how to properly pack and secure your minis when, for shipping. Oh, yeah. I just usually throw them on a Ziploc baggie. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, here's the thing, and I'm going to tell you. This guy, he loves metal, okay? And I used to paint play, paint his guild ball things for him. But he'd always order them in metal. Oh, my gosh. There was one model. <laughs> one model that weighed almost two pounds. Whoa. Yeah, so I think this guy's kind of done. 
Right. Now this next guy, I've got a lot of black to add on him because he was the first test model I did. So there's a lot of places that are that need some black attention right here. This is originally the original one that I tried to paint with the contrast paint. Ah. Uh. Where this is the black part. Because I, I hear such good things about the black Templar. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. It's really hit or miss for me. So, and there's still a little bit of white stuff just hanging out. And I don't like that. But that's where shading comes in see like there's a big spot right there and to get to it I have to do some brush kung fu you know yeah so it's one of those things so he looks fairly good outside of that just missing a little bit of a little bit of ivory right here see I think he's ready to rock and roll um, let's see here, back with the black. Actually, with some fur. I wonder where George is at. That's a good question. Ain't nobody else in here. I know. Everybody else. In the Discord. I did. But uh, everybody else wouldn't. Like yeah. <laughs> okay, so. I think he's good. This is when we dip them all in the black tarnish. I'm just kidding. Alright. So, this is what I'm going to do hair dryer. It's going to be loud for a minute. We'll hit each one of them with the hair dryer for a second. The main reason is just to make sure everything is dry. And the further we go back, the less it's going to take. Actually, I just maneuvered around the table. I don't even have to put this one. Okay, all right. Now, there's one spot here. I'm going to fix it silver. Now this is when we get into our wash game. So, oh man, okay. See now, this is also something I would suggest. Let's go back over each one of these one more time, just to double check. Okay, so this one looks good. I don't see anything that sticks out to me. Yeah, there's a problem there. Fur, fur just looks like I just splotched it on. Kind of did. Okay. So, let's put this guy out here. Start giving this some fur here. Good. All right. Uh, messy, messy, messy. Uh, I'm a little upset. Didn't tell you something that just happened. 
There's two things oh. I'm upset about. Mm, all right. Is one of my friends that I met Eve at GaryCon passed away this week. Oh. Yeah. She's a nice old lady. She'd always bring her granddaughter down and play board games in the board game library. Uh, her name is Pam Abbott. Um, she's really nice. Um, but the other thing is the Brutal Pop Storm Popper. Oh, That's devastating. Fell off the refrigerator because somebody slammed the door. It shattered. Now I've been going without popcorn for three days. Man. You don't know how much that hurts my soul. Well, I know. I, I went to the store and it, it, they were out of my uh, my vegetable chips and I was really distraught. And I'm not trying to take away from Pam. Oh, she no. She's a good person. She, she used to, it's to see her at Gary Con. She came around and give me a hug. Uh, it's just frustrating. Okay. So I'm going to start with the nun oil treatment. So, uh, have my back here. All right, none oil. Now, besides your homemade wash, do you water down your washes at all? Not in the Citadels. Okay. I do the Army Painter uh, dark tone. Because it's like freaking pink. Which, speaking of, you'll be, you'll be proud to know I picked up some Army Painter red shade the other day. I don't know. I haven't got that far yet. I know. It's not really a shade. Well, yeah. It's mixed, the the mixed red wash. Yeah. Okay, now, we'll see how that turns out. Right here. I'm just making a little bit of this wash around the spike. Just because I really want it to pull up around the spike some. Now, does that sort of, that Noma, that sort of ages your armor? Yeah. Oh. I also have what I call a dark armor wash, and it's a, it's a blue-black. Okay. That's pretty much it with the nun oil with this weapon here. I did put nun oil down, didn't I? Yes. It's looking kind of brown here. We'll put this fella over here. Next fella. Alright. So, his weapons are good. We'll air that here with some nun oil treatment. Right here. Maybe. This guy is going to get rocked. Pretty much. That sums it up. Some of that sweet capillary action. Alright. This guy needs it around the bolts. So, the way I wash these guys, though, I've been doing them a little differently on each one. Like, this guy might take care of his armor a little bit better than this other guy. And, you know, so, one with that concept, you know, one might be a little bit neater. I mean, but they're orcs, so how neat can an orc be? You know what I mean? <laughs> we know we know that they're an evil race, so <laughs> no comment. Nothing, nothing <laughs> ever redeemed the orc. Okay, <laughs> except the power of Christ. You you need to obey the canon, sir. Listen, listen. This isn't, <laughs> this isn't Dungeons and Dragons. This is Warhammer. They are not changing anything. Yeah, I did just take that, that took my shade brush. Anyway, but yeah, they're not changing anything. So I'm not. That's my world. And Warhammer started because of Dungeons and Dragons. If you know anything about Citadel, they started their company because they made uh, gaming supplements for D&D. &D. And then they started making models. Okay? 
then they had all these models, and everybody's like, man, why do you just, I mean, there's not, like, a lot of stuff you can do with this. And then they're like, okay. So they started to develop a game to use their models on. And that's what we got, Warhammer and Rogue Trader. I mean, they, they, had, they were just making models. Then you had the, the likes of the Perry brothers. That's the the main modelers at the original time. And one of them doesn't even have a hand, and he can still model. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that guy blows me away. I'd love to meet them guys. <gasps> I missed a spot. Look, right there. See it? Nope. Because I discovered it. Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, now it's straight wet, so what do we do? Kind of dried up a little bit for me. Yep, Perry Brothers. Oh man. I do. I wouldn't mind going to the main headquarters for GW. I think that would be an interesting trip. Oh, I think it might be. And let me ask you this question. Do you think that GW fills all these little paint pots in the UK and ships them over here? Or they ship it in buckets and then have somebody in the UK in US. Uh, that's you know a that's good question. How, that's how nail polish is done. Oh, is it? Yeah. Or they could ship the pigment, I guess. Uh, no, because all their paint's made by the same company, HMG. I think it's it. Uh, or HMG. So it's actually shipped to a location, I believe, in Detroit. And there is a group of gentlemen and ladies there who fill up the paint pots. What do you think about that? Did I just ruin your life? I wonder how much null oil they spill. I don't know, but you need to find their location because you're not far from them. I it's I'm closer to Detroit than I want to be. Yeah, I know. I was telling my wife about the wonderful pa pastries that you might send me. <laughs> the punch keys. <laughs> and don't get me started. I just, okay. I, you know, I, I, I stopped eating so many carbs. I don't go by the bakery as often as I, I, I just, I need to keep reminding myself. You're going to have to. I need them. I had, had them so long. <laughs> Sometimes I think washing can be like some of the most tedious work. Okay, last one. And this is the nun. Ah, dropping brush. Onto the carpet. My dog peed in my office today. I'm so mad. It wasn't even the puppy, it was the old man. Like, he's getting to a point where he doesn't want to go outside. And he's also not eating very well. So I've been lacing his food with either peanut butter or bacon fat. But, no, the, like, I tried to get him to go outside, and he came to the bedroom door because I was taking the puppy out. And he just gave me a look of, go to heck. Uh -huh. and, uh, and so I took the puppy out, and, uh, you know, I thought nothing of it because he can hold it pretty good. I looked down to the floor, and he just took a piss in my floor, and I was like, what the? Well, that ain't very nice. No, he's probably mad at me. I've been kicking him out of bed. Because my son's been trying to get him to sleep with him. So what I'll do is I'll drag him out of bed and take him upstairs to my son's room. And, uh, oh wait, hold on. I gotta pop my neck. Uh, I need to drop my brush again. Uh, I don't know why I'm wearing these. There we go. I don't need them for this part. 
But no, I, I drag him upstairs and put him in my son's room, and he gets so mad. I mean, he'll stay there, right? Because that's where his crate is. But he hates it. I don't know why. It's like, does does Andrew stink? Is that is that why you don't like sleeping up there with him? Is because he smells bad? So, it's like nothing can stink worse than you, dog, especially after the skunk. Yeah, skunks are never, uh, mm, mm, mm. to go down here. So six minutes seven I have it set here. I wish I had just something else to just do. But the magnets on this these aren't strong enough. They're strong enough to hold them on a plate, but oh uh, not strong enough to do anything else with uh yeah always make sure you get the back of the horns because you don't want to get the just the front. Okay, so let's go here. Let's get this guy right there. So now we're doing all the brown washes. Going from World of Agrax. are starting to dry up a little bit. Is that water still not coming in through your uh, no, paper? No, I didn't put enough on it. Ah. But I can just peel it back. Here we go. It will start moving over. Oh. If I put too much on it, it sucks. of all the other issues to be upset it looks like the guy who was going to buy our old house he uh, yeah. his, his credit like has a spot on it and they're supposed to work on it and we're supposed to close on the night uh, they're hiding their hair about it that sucks so if you want to move down here I know a guy that's got a house in town. <laughs> it's not Chuck even though he's going to have one for sale. See, that's, oh, that's right. They're, they're putting up their rental, aren't they? Yeah. That's probably what will end up happening. I don't want to rent it. Uh, but, see, this is what you do. is You move down here, and we don't tell Chuck. <laughs> and, and the reason being is we get you settled first. And then one night, I'm going to be like, you know, when it's time for us to have our game, on Saturday night, I'm like, listen, I'm going to bring a new guy. I'm pretty sure you're going to like this dude. <laughs> He's going to be like, nope. And then I'm like, yep. And then I bring you. And he's going to be like, dang it. And then we all take a trip to Arkansas. The hell I want to go to Arkansas? You know, Little Rock. I ain't got nothing to do in, in Little Rock. Oh. He's 
tell the check worker I'm planning to go down there. <laughs> I, keep, I keep warning Stephen Chenault. He doesn't take me serious. I think Tim's starting to take me serious, though. Oh, is he? Yeah. yeah. I had talked to him a bit. I messaged him, see how he's doing. He's like giving him a hard time. Ah, look at that guy. He looks like a cow. I don't want to make something. Moo! 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 Eliza, I'm not speaking too clearly into this microphone. <clears throat> Hey there, this is Dr. Love. Come at you. Love, get out. <laughs> oh man, oh man, oh man. Oh uh, lord. Listen, if I can't have fun on my own show. Yo, by all, by all means, Dr. Love. <laughs> Coming at you with the sounds that make you want to uh, groove all I, night long. I make you listen to the YouTube after Chuck uploads it and you'll, you'll be like, oh man. Bake was right. <laughs> Want to groove all night. All night. <laughs> all night long. All night. <laughs> oh, man. You know what I should do is get that, that, uh, that, ch -ch -ch or whatever <laughs> sound. It said it is my wife's ringtone for when she calls me. I mean, it make they it, they it, got all kinds of they got all kinds of stuff like that you can download like just for to embarrass legit. the crap out of my daughter. Yeah, I think that title is called "Laying Pipe," if I recall. Really? Yeah. It not has even a kidding. title. It has it a title. Has a title. Oh, yeah, my it gosh. sure does. Oh man, I'm gonna have to lay that up. I wonder if it's on the uh, Apple Store. <laughs> that's a ringtone I can get into. Let me uh, let me look it up here. Whoops, that's the wrong site. Hey man, we only got like a couple more models. Think about that. Oh, there it is. Is it on the Apple Store? No, it's on YouTube actually. Why don't you play it for us? Uh, I don't think this has a stereo mix. Let me check. Play it through them speakers. Now, see, speakers I definitely don't have. Oh, Lord. I It's the apartment life, man. There's just no use for speakers. Oh, no. I used to... Uh, when, I remember when I had a... I, I lived by myself in a basement apartment. Me and my neighbors, I'd turn it up. Because I had to drown them out. Because <laughs> they'd fight all the time. Mm. Trust me, I could pump about 30 watts from my computer speakers. Alright. And that's pretty good for computer speakers. At the time. Of course, they didn't like it when I pulled into the parking lot at 3 in the morning because I had a ghetto blaster of a car. I was pushing 300 watts out of two 15 inch subwoofers. I don't know what any of those numbers mean, but it sounds impressive. Yeah, I I would tell people to ride in the back of my car for a back massage. <laughs> Just get in the back, guys. Uh, trust me. Trust me. You won't need your hearing when we get there. So... The washing is completed. You get all this leather.
Okay. So now we're going to let the washing settle. Look at that right there. We're done. So what we're going to do now, so I've got a little bit of wash left. So I'm going to mix this together. Then, <laughs> you like this. Oh, crap. Where's my papette? Papette, papette. My little French friend. I've lost my papette. Well, I guess I'll take some water here. Oh, there it is. Dirty water. That's what it's all about. Actually, let's see how well that works. So we're gonna use my dirty water. We're coming here and I'm gonna shade all this desert yellow, AKA sand. Until it runs out. We still have to paint the bases. So. I don't know if you can see it very well. That's gonna dry up. It's gonna look pretty nifty. And then we're gonna. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I, I try to get the stereo mix working, but it does not work on this on this. Card. Okay. It's good though. It starts off with a knock on the door. So it's like, who is it? <laughs> it's the plumber. I didn't order a plumber. <laughs> Good team. Oh my gosh. We shouldn't be talking about stuff like this, man. I mean, it's not any more graphic than Steven Chenault on his AMAs. <laughs> oh, really? We heard, we heard a story about... Uh, 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 shoot, I can't remember. Who's the guy who does the art? Uh, uh, Peter. Yeah, Peter. We heard about the origins of Peter. $20 Bradley. What? Oh, it was entertaining. You had to watch the replay. When was this? Uh, Yesterday. AMA, yeah. Uh, what's the origins of that? Just tell me. Uh, it had that. something to do with strippers. Uh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> Uh, that's fantastic. This is a family channel. <laughs> it's not when he's on it. Like I'm uh, using my dirty, I'm using my dirty stuff. My homemade Agrax. Oh, the dirty wash. Mm. Mm. Oh, baby. I like your dirty wash. Look at that. Look how brown it is. It is. It's going to dry, though, clear. That's brown. Should have just done it all like this. All right. So I don't know what to think about, about Peter Bradley now. Peter twenty dollar Bradley. Well, they they've stopped putting Peter twenty dollar Bradley in the book. He's just Peter Bradley now, and he's definitely drawing some uh, what some people would call more wholesome art. I disagree, but that's another conversation. Uh huh. Okay. So to make all this blend in, we want all the models to have the same shading on the bases. So. Oh, so, you're using your brown shade just on the base? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because it's cheaper than Agrax. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I don't like wasting good shade. All right, I'm going to go back over this guy's base right here. 
with this. Yeah, I did pretty well. I got my whole army shaded in one bottle of sepia. That's good. But I was using a two to one ratio, so it helped extend it a little bit. Yeah. Lay in pot. Better now. Better now. Better now. We're gonna get banned. I don't wanna get banned. Steven's gonna be like, listen guys. Actually it won't be Steven, <laughs> it'll be Tim. But listen. Listen right here. We can't talk about stuff like that, fellas. I don't care who your mother is. But guys. What is um Alright, there it is. Let's let this What's dry. that? What's those big bottles on your D20 there? On my what? Are those are those bigger than 12 mil? What these? Like what this right here? I can't see. No, that's a. Well, that's like a 16 mil. No, that's a. What's a 20 mil? Oh, is it? Is that what the the beige one is on your green D20 thing? What your North you Foundry doing? sticker on your. Oh, this one thing. right here? Yeah, this, that one. This is, uh, yeah, it's a 20 mil bottle. Okay, all right. That's what I buy to put my Citadel stuff in. You usually get like 10 for a, a dollar. Yeah. Depends on where you order them from. All right, so that's drying. So here's our next color, which it's going to be kind of dumb. All right, so desert yellow. This is what we base everything in. So we're going to come in here, get a bit of it, because we got a lot of models to base. Then we're going to get some of our dirty water, just a little bit. Squirt it on in there. See, this is we're at a point now where this right here is like, okay, you're just mixing this crap in here. So, like, it doesn't matter. Okay. So, let's clean this brush off. So, this brush is a bit too big. But, I'm going to where I use it to mix, I'm going to get these big areas with it real quick until it's, uh, I don't want to drop crap in it. So, I don't like wasting paint. So, before I started buying, like, like, when I was in high school and I could afford to buy decent paint, Cause that's all I did was spend my money on stuff at the comic shop or my girlfriend or gas money. <laughs> I didn't have to pay rent, nothing like that. Kids, remember that? Buy all your modeling stuff when you're at home with your parents, or you will never leave the house. Um, anyway, so like, um, you know, as an adult, I was using a lot of craft paint. Because I couldn't afford anything else. I had two kids and all sorts of stuff. Um, but uh, I felt so bad because all my friends had their paint in these dropper bottles. And I had them in these big, huge, honking, like, folk art bottles. So I ended up buying a bunch of dropper bottles and just filling them up. With paint, <laughs> just to be like, I'm cool like you guys. See? Right here. But. Then I was like, uh, learning the airbrush, and I was like, I need, uh, I need this. It's hard to airbrush folk art. Actually, who else is in the chat room right now? Um, yeah, nobody. Uh, no. Poop heads. Tell them they're all poop heads. Post it right now. Oh, I couldn't do that. I gotta draw the line. Draw the line. <laughs> so, oh yeah. So, did you ever watch the Dewey Cox story? Walk, yes. Uh, Walk, yeah. Walking hard or something. Yeah. 
So I started listening to the soundtrack the other day with my daughter in the car. She's like, what is this crap? (laughs) This is racist. I said, no, this is comedy. It's a difference. He's making fun of it. Uh, I wish I could show this to y'all better, but literally I'm just painting these bases. All right, so let me put this down for just a second. Uh, empty brush, empty brush. All right, so everybody, I know there's a lot of people here watching. So here's my latest invention. So I wanted a way to clear my airbrush uh, when I'm cleaning it out. And I wanted one of those little glass pots that you stick it in, you pull the trigger, and you're like, and one time I had made one that I 3D printed the lid for, and it didn't work very well. So the whole premise behind it is you stick it in a hole, and it shoots all this air in there, and there's a filter that filters out the the air so the pressure doesn't get too bad in there. So I took a chicken bouillon container that's glass, and then I drilled a bunch of little holes right here, and I hot glued a coffee filter to the t- not hot glued, but uh, uh, in- uh, super glued a, hot- a coffee filter right here, and burned off the edges so it didn't hang out everywhere. Drilled a hole big enough for my airbrush to go in there, and literally I just go, and I did this with trash, trash. <laughs> Instead of spending ten dollars. On something, I did it with trash, and it works. Always look at your trash. That's a good idea. Look at your trash. That's all I gotta say. You can do lots of things with trash. Yeah, this is the part that I don't like. I'm trying to get this paint in here around these rocks. It sucks. But it's all right. It's life. It's what it is. Because you know everybody's going to go back and watch that. They're going to be like, wow, Daniel knew what he was talking about. It's going to go down in history. (laughs) You know, I'll never be a social media star. I've realized that. My voice is too annoying. And I talk about stupid stuff. But I will say I am a meme. So it's good. You're a meme? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, with the DOS float video, somebody made my finger in the video purple, and, and this is like, balance is good. <laughs> yeah. A couple of years ago when that one came out, with the, the, the meme. Actually, Drew sent it to me from North Foundry. I'm kind of thinking that he made it so it was it was like posted to the D and D memes group, and it still pops up every now and then. You get random people ask me questions about models, not models, but d- d- dice. I mean, uh, they call me Doctor Dice over at the North Foundry. I I got that name uh, working the booth at Gen Con. Oh, Super did funny. you? Yeah, because, like, they all knew about the video, right? And, you know, that's how I met Drew anyway, was through that stupid dust flow video. And uh, so Eric, uh, his, like, guy who lives down there with him that comes I'm mean, like, he lives in the same area as him, so he, he comes up and helps out and stuff. He's kind of like the, the crew crew leader for the volunteers. Right. Well, anyway, um, he started going, Dr. Dice! You know, like Dr. Love, and he'd introduced me to people like, this is Dr. Dice. And like, I'm like, shut up, man. So it just stick. It stuck. And uh, <laughs> he thought it was great. I was like, yeah, whatever. What they call me? Dr. Dr. Dice! That was loud. <laughs> you know, I've got, I've got earbuds in, right? Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, <clears throat> Yeah, so that's where that name came from. And but I will say I was the only one that uh, sold the crap out of the True Metals dice. Like I sold two sets of tungsten dice. Uh, tungsten. I sold, wow. Yeah, dude, these are five hundred and fifty dollars a set. That's crazy. I sold two, 
and it was amazing. I do want a set of tungsten dice. They're they're heavy. They are really heavy, but I cannot afford them. I mean, they're the they're the true metal line though. It's just like yeah, you I dent the oak tabletop I just made with it. We did get to play on the uh, the gaming table with the kids. Oh, nice! You get it all yeah. finished up. Yeah. Well, no, I still got a lot of sanding to do. It's just I I don't want to do the sanding at the moment because I have to do the cleaning afterwards. <laughs> and uh, it just makes a mess. And I, I I did a rough sanding, and I need to do another layer of rough sanding, and then start to do the high, higher grit sanding. And then, uh, I don't know if I'm going to paint the, the legs uh, of it, like, black and get, like, a nice uh, uh, um, stain for it. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm doing. But I got it done before Halloween because, like, we got family coming over. We're going to have a kid's Halloween party out of our family. Uh, with the whole social distancing thing, that's pretty much only people that we've been around this family and we have a small group and so we they we see them we know how they are and stuff like they work in the medical field what like two work in medical field and and the other two are worship leaders and actually and then one of them's a child psychologist so oh that sounds interesting well he's a psychologist but he specializes in children with autism and stuff so hmm like helping parents deal with that, and uh, it's pretty pretty good. Um, you know, sometimes we're like, uh, "Can you help us?" Our son's not autistic, but like, you know, the thing is that like, if you, I mean, he has a lot of adolescent stuff underneath his belt, so you can ask him any questions and stuff like that. So, plus he also plays video games, and him and my son get along. <laughs> And they're both named Andrew, so. Oh. It's funny. Yeah, when I first met him, he's like, he's really short, okay? And he's probably about uh, 10 years younger than me. And uh, when I first met him, I was probably in my late 30s. Or no, it's mid-30s. And, like, I literally thought he was 15. Dang. That's how, I mean, he was just a small dude, and uh, he was dressed real hip, and I was like, hey, little kid, you want to come to youth group? <laughs> so, yeah, it's funny. Funny, 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 funny. But he became one of my bestest, closest friends. Oh, that's good. Yeah. We sometimes go to concerts together, but now he's married, and he has to go to concerts with his wife. I miss going to concerts. The last concert I went to was Ben Folds 5. Oh, uh, jealous. Yeah, dude, man, it was in Asheville, and uh, we hit up the, there's a, there's a microbrew up there called The Lab, or something like that, and like... You get it's like super clean. Like you could see all into the the fermentation process and stuff like that. And it's it's themed like a science laboratory and stuff. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, we went there and we went and ate some dinner. And I love Ben Folds. Oh yeah, I'm I'm a big fan. Yeah, he comes down to Asheville all the time. But if you lived here, uh, you could go and see him. Ah. Uh. And I don't know if you know who my um, my picture is for on uh, Discord, but it's Unknown Henson. Now, I do know, I know the name, and I think that's something Chuck has sent me before. It's, yeah. Isn't so he I'm like gonna, some funny old man? No, he's a country western troubadour. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, here, wait. So, like, I love Unknown Henson, so let's see here. I've seen him in concert like three times. <laughs> uh, but it's really, the bar he comes to up here is like, 
Um, it's always super crowded. Oh, here we go. Foggy winters. Hey, I'll send this to you on Discord. You have to listen to this. Uh, wait, do I even have Discord up? Here it is. Uh, da -da -da -da. There you go. Listen to that. All while we paint. So he's an undead country western troubadour vampire. The only oh, teeth, that's all. Only, only teeth he has are his fangs. So uh, a lot of adjectives. Yeah. Uh oh. Toddler's screaming. Must be in his bedroom. Well, the first code of the basin is almost completed. Are you listening? The foggy winders come between us again. <laughs> but he also plays rock. Uh, he's actually... Uh, a uh, guitar uh, teacher um, out in North Carolina. But he, uh, so he's really like makes fun of like these kids that do uh, like play power chords and stuff like that. And he saw all these, <laughs> he, he see, he'd see all these kids come in and want to play rock music and he'd have to teach them power chords and stuff like that. And he just makes fun of them all the time. So, no, you gotta. You gotta start. You gotta start with the blues. Once right. you figure that out, you can get yourself away from power chords naturally and make some good rock. But yeah, it's just so funny. It's my hot take. Uh -huh. Woo! Dang, we've we've piled through this, ain't we? Guess what? I need some mm -hmm. more desert yellow. I, I would have called that color mustard, but that's just me. Yeah. But you know what it is? <laughs> it's mustard? Yellow. It's, it's yellow. So, uh... And who hates yellow? Well, I hate yellow. I don't. You hate yellow. No, I don't. Drew hates yellow. Yeah. <laughs> these, these are Drew's models, though. <laughs> And remember, people, when you're painting your bases, use the, your crap brush because it's going to get ruined. Yeah, because you're going to poke and prod. And... Yep. <laughs> this is just the first coat. I'm going to go over and do it all <laughs> again. And then touch up the boots. And... No, I don't get it on the boots. Oh, oh, look at this guy. Yeah, I'm the, oh, I just got it on the boots. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, see? Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I wrecked one of my brushes with all that pushing and pulling and everything. And I told my sister, I'm like, yeah, I wrecked the brush. She's like, oh, no, that's the one I got for you for Christmas. I said, yeah, but there's also two more in the package. So you're fine. <laughs> oh, man. I just pretend it's mud. It's mud on his boots. Oh, yeah. Yellow mud. All right, let's take, let's take diarrhea on his boot. That's what it is. Oh, shit. You're gonna have to touch it up, man. You you, you up. can't let it out without touching it up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. All right. Now we gotta go back over all these. Oh man, I hate this. Yeah, I did my when I did my skeletons because I had uh they're so tiny and so thin. Like I usually don't base anything until I am ready to glue it and done. But the oh, skeletons were so tiny and so fragile. It's like baby poop. And uh, it's what the skeleton told you. 
Ah, that's what it is. Baby diarrhea. I had to paint, like, it took, like, four coats of white on my bases to get through those skeletons. I was so mad. That's your problem. Why were you painting the bases white? Because it looked nice. Oh, my gosh. I, yeah, I put a lot of effort into that. Yeah, a lot of effort you didn't need to put in there. Well, you know, needs and wants and... Ugh. The other one's my, uh, not bolt action, the, uh, Flames of War, those are all beige. So it's a little, a little more forgiving. Foggy winters. It's been a long time. <laughs> oh, man, I want to get this over with. I still got five more models to build. But, you know what? I'm going to blast right through those. I've already figured it out. I got, I got me a, a game plan on those. The hardest part is going to be building them. He's like, it's so funny because yeah, I've been painting these on his show too. And he's like, so you're going to be able to... <laughs> You'll get my Necrons out and start painting them. <laughs> I was like, dude, I gotta finish these. I told him I thought I might do one of his models, like the Adventures models and stuff. So I do gotta go pick that color up tomorrow. I might pick up some more Agrax while I'm at it. Because, you know, it's Agrax and all. <laughs> made soup beans for dinner tonight. Uh, that sounds kind of good. I mean, like, do you like soup beans? Yeah, and, uh, and, uh, green beans and ham hocks. I love those. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I got it right there. I love it. Crotch. (laughs) Quick, get the wet brush. Flap it off. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Oh, man. I'm horrible. Hey, it happens. Uh, let's see here. Uh, man, I'm glad Tim and them don't come in here and listen to this. They're like, man, they're talking about soup beans. I made soup beans and cornbread tonight. Oh, yeah. And I cut up some tomato and onion. Only thing was I didn't have any cheese. I like putting, uh, like, sandwich cheese in it like american cheese oh uh, no 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 mm-hmm. you gotta try it man it makes it all creamy or then i i might use like cream cheese but not not american oh man cheese. my older brother oh my lord he puts mayonnaise in his Ugh. i'm like dude i'm out i said i know we're white but that just goes too far no i put ketchup oh, in before man. when i didn't ah. I, I, yeah, I didn't have tomatoes. I was like, put a little ketchup in here. It might work. But then I realized Oof. ketchup and tomato is not the same thing. Do you know where ketchup was invented at? I'll give you two I guesses. Would probably, I would probably say uh, at the corner of, uh, let's see, Northwood, Ohio, at the corner of uh, 51 and some other friggin' road back at the Heinz oh. plant. Nope. <laughs> that place ketchup stinks is, all the time. It's a lot older than what you would think. I've heard that ketchup is a fruit. It is considered a fruit. <laughs> but ketchup is actually an invention of the Chinese. Really? Yeah, they used it to... Ketchup is actually a process of which to make a type of salted fermentation of uh, a fruit or vegetable... And it, uh, so they used to use it to, uh, store fish. Oh, okay. Like and they do it, with the, the tomato sardines and oil and Well, crap. no, it's, it's kind of where we get the fish sauce from. So the process, okay. now America, we have made it thicker, okay? But when ketchup um, during the colony times, ketchup was actually made out of mushrooms. 
And it's called mushroom ketchup. And you can still get it. And it's a liquid. It's almost like Worcestershire sauce. So, and the process is pretty much taking fresh cut um, mushrooms and like covering them in salt and uh, just letting it set and squeezing all the drippings out because it renders it down. It pulls the moisture out of them and you squeeze okay. it out and that's pretty much it. It's called mushroom ketchup. But um, it was a process developed by the Chinese. Look, man, you can't say the Chinese hasn't helped us. We wouldn't have gunpowder. We wouldn't have cheap dice. Uh, we'd have had we'd have had gunpowder eventually, because I tell you what, the aliens that was interacting with old old, old Chinese alchemists would have just <laughs> thrown their hands up in the air and said, "We'll teach somebody else." I, how, I was thinking about that the other day. Like, you know how like yeah. a lot of things are invented by accident, right? Sure. But who ever thought that we'd eat rotted cheese, rotted milk? I wouldn't. I wouldn't call like, it rotted. I'd call it cured. Well, well, I wouldn't call it cured. If you think about it, it's literally the poop of bacteria. It's what it is. We're eating the poop of bacteria. Just like with alcohol, we're eating the or drinking the poop uh, poop from yeast. Well, that's technically the farts from yeast, but well, but you get what I'm saying, though, right? Yeah, we like what we like, I guess. I don't know, but how did how did somebody <laughs> accidentally discover it? Now, I can understand alcohol because, like, uh, you know, sometimes fruit will ferment on the ground, and there's been like. Uh, I think David Attenborough did a video where some animals found a tree that had dropped some fruit and it all fermented and they were all eating it and getting drunk and couldn't walk. It's like, uh, I was like, uh, is that deer? Was it deer? No, it was, was like coffee. The, it was in Amazon. It was in Africa. It was like uh, chimps and and mm. uh, other things like that. They were like drunk or crap. But yeah. So now. This is the last one. What we'll do is get the black out and fix all the feet. And any other colors we have seemed to mess up. <laughs> so. Ah. Okay, so let's dry that off. And clean that out. Let's not dry it off. Okay, now we still got some black over here. All right, gosh. It's like one of those, it's, the end is in sight. So, we come in here now, people, and all this orange or yellow that we've got everywhere, we just start cleaning it, painting over it. Black. This is also why I recommend that you should have all your characters wear black blue back black <laughs> boots. You know? Like what color is those boots? Black. Okay. Ah, I just stuck it in the yellow. Oh, this one actually doesn't have any on the feet. Alright. Next. Do you have any on your feet? Yeah, I dropped. Next, I did get him to get sloppy there towards the end. Foggy Winters. Yeah, another one of his songs you need to listen to is Venus Bound. It's about leaving Earth to get away from women. <laughs> Or get get away from the women down here because they're liberated. Oh, it it, it going to Mars where there's no men up there, so it could live like a king. Oh, man. Or Venus, uh, where all the women live. That there's no man up there. He likes that whole concept concept of sci-fi. They might now might have uh, might have some stuff of floating women up in the atmosphere. Oh, but it's just, it's funny. Listen, ladies, if y'all are watching this, I have nothing against ladies. 
I'm completely 110% a feminist. I just find some of this older crap find it funny. And I know I shouldn't. Because it doesn't help the cause. Alright. That's done. Now, here is a very important step. Now, I need you all to take note of this step. This is one of the best things you can ever do to your model. Take your model. Take some black. Go around the rim of the bridge. The, the base. Cleans it up. I learned this a few years back. Because I used to just paint the whole base one color. Yeah, and I see... I am not that accurate. You are definitely much more practiced. I use the side of my brush and just like rotate it. That's what I'm doing. Well, you're using the tip of the brush. No, I'm using the side. Well, I use the side, the big, like I, I obviously the side. I still mess up. Do I what? Did over it twice though. <laughs> because it's. Some... Sometimes it'd be it. like that. I still gotta dry brush all this black. Yeah, this is just one of those things I think makes it look extra nice. I will say, as much as I hate the Citadel white, a bad in black's not that bad. No, I I do like it. Like I like the bad in black uh, over uh, the MSP. Actually, it's just it's so much darker. Well, not all blacks are equal. Wait, that didn't sound right. The uh, <laughs> I I haven't tried the Viejo black. Well, the primer is really that their black primer is really black. But I do prefer the Abad in black for sure. Oh, hey, I was supposed to reboot a server. Whoops. Uh oh. Guess I'd better do that. Nuclear fuel in my gas tank. This is closed source countdown. Yeah, like my first uh, unknown Hanson concert. <laughs> I grew my beard out and then I shaved my uh, chops to look like unknown Hanson's chops. <laughs> so I got my picture with him. He does have some chops. He's got the best chops. But they're fake. They, uh, they're they glue on. They fall off during concerts. No, It's funny, though. Oh, somebody else is remoted in here. Well, they're about to get a big surprise. Uh-oh, it's a hacker. And reboot. Surprise! <laughs> oh, dude, it kills me. Like, like I, I came from working at the hospital where in order to reboot a server, I had to go to a change management group. And they only met once a week, and they all had to vote whether or not my reboots would have any impact. So, I mean... I just got to a point where I quit going and just rebooted. Like, oops, the server reset. Let me fix it. Yeah, I like I don't I know that people's <laughs> lives might be at stake, but the bureaucracy is awful. No, this wasn't that bad when I was rebooting.
But anyway, so what's funny about it is my boss now, we have a production server that handles all our billing. And uh, he just randomly reboots it during the middle of the day and doesn't tell anybody. And a yeah, boy. In, a bunch of tickets come in. We just like, uh, server rebooted. I yep. love it. That's the life, like, man. There's no such thing as change management where I work. I just know after, after 5 or 6 o'clock, I have free reign over all this fun. Alright, let's see here. First coat of the basing is done after this guy. Man, I'm so happy. Here we go. Second coat. Second verse. Same as the first. Well, getting hungry. <laughs> 20 minute warning. I can't eat popcorn unless I cook it on the stove. Like a meander. Oh. That sounds awful. I know. It's horrible. I want popcorn so bad. Oh, I haven't ate all my protein today. I'm going to go eat a drink a protein shake. Actually, I'm pretty low on protein today. Ooh, that's not good. Second first. Dip for, for first. I'm Jimmy Papa and Jimmy Jim Papa and I am. Anyway, can't sing the rest of that because I would get kicked off of Twitch. <laughs> but I do have more angles than a parallelogram. Uh, but. Just the verse in there. Uh, I'm a little upset George didn't show up. Yeah, no George, no Willie. Yeah, man. It's almost like it's not Wednesday. We'll get him, uh... Well, Willie might be we'll snowed get him next in. Time. Snowed in? Yeah, well, where he lives and all. Ain't no snow. He lives in Canada, man. I got snow up there already. Huh? They got snow up there already? Dude, man, yeah. Huh. They're not that far from Canada. So did I ever tell you about my trip to the Canadian border in Detroit? I've got one that can beat it, but go ahead. All right, so check this out. <laughs> so I like collecting st stamps in my passport, right? Oh, yeah, all right. So I was like, you know, after work, I was like, I'm going to drive up to, up to Detroit and go over the bridge and get a stamp and then, you know, hit the McDonald's or something. And, uh... And I'm going to come back and have my Canadian stamp. Well, anyway, I vowed after this, after this, I just, I have vowed to never go to Canada again. So here it is. I drive over that stupid thing and I'm in a rental now, by the way. I have nothing in the car with me. No clothes, no nothing. You know, there's a casino right over the border, right? Oh, yeah, good old Windsor. And so, all right, so I'm going, you know, the, when you go over the, the bridge, you go into, the first person you get to is a Canadian guy, and he gets your information, and you drive through, and then they go and inspect your car and all that other crap. Well, anyway, I go in there, and, they, and, and all these, you, you realize that if you have a government job, most of these guys are French Canadians. They speak French, and they have a very heavily French accent. So, here I am. I get up there, and the guy's like, what are you, what are you coming to Canada for? It's like, listen, I collect stamps on my passport. I was up here. I figured I'd come into Canada. I've never been to Canada before. I'm just going to run over here to that McDonald's right behind the building, have dinner, come back, and that's it. All right. So he's like, okay, well, when you get up here, pull over to the side, blah, blah, blah. So they pull up, pull me over, get me out of the car. 
They tear the car completely down and put it back together. And, like, the dude is giving me, like, he's pulled up my credit report. He's pulled up everything about me. He's like, why are you coming to Canada? I'm like, D because I've always wanted to come to Canada. And literally, same question over 30 minutes. He's like, I don't see why you would want to come to Canada to go to McDonald's. I said, because I collect stamps in my passport. Just, and said, I'm just bored. <laughs> and I'm up here for work. Where do you work for? And I told him the company I work for. What do you do? I said, we are contractors for the hospital up here. Are you running away from your wife? No. Are you running away from the law? No. Uh, do you own your home or rent? I said, I own my home. Do you have bad credit? I said, no. I mean, all these questions, just because I wanted to come to Canada, have some McDonald's, and finally it came down to this. He said, why do you want to come to Canada? I said, listen, in Canada, your McDonald's has a McFlurry that has Cadbury eggs in it. In America, <laughs> we don't have that. I said, I want the Cadbury egg McFlurry. <laughs> dude's like, okay, you can go through. <laughs> wow. And so, like, I literally went to the McDonald's, got a McRoyale with cheese. Mm -hmm. They didn't have quarter pounder because of the metric system. Um, actually, I got a Big Mac meal, and then I got me my thing, and... Uh, you know, drove back to the thing and, you know, I didn't have to deal with the Canadians anymore and I got over there where the American guy goes, okay, what, why, why did you go to Canada? I said, I wanted a stamp in my passport. He says, good enough for me. Welcome back to America. <laughs> so what's your story? Oh, let me tell you. So when my parents got divorced, my mom got the 401k settlement, which was not very big because my dad hadn't been working that long. So she spent uh, like a couple grand on this old, old Camaro. It was a piece of crap. Mm -hmm. So we're driving up. She had a friend of hers that lived in Canada. She was going to drive over to Windsor, take a train all the way across Canada to visit her friend. Okay. So I drove, I drove up there. And that Camaro, uh, it broke and it seized the engine completely. So we're stuck on the, on the highway in the middle of nowhere outside of Detroit. Oh, and wow. so I'm, you know, this is before cell phones. So I'm trying to figure out what to do. And I finally walked back to a restaurant. I called my buddy. I said, "Bring your trailer up to Detroit, please, and let's tow this piece of crap back." He said, "Okay, I'll see you in like an hour and a half." And so we're sitting there waiting, and she's, my mom's all crying and, and stuff because she ain't going to make the train on time. Yeah. Well, here, out of nowhere, the answer to her prayers, this lady pulls up. And she said, <laughs> it was, she said, the Lord told me to stop and pick you up. And I said, all right, all right. So we get in the car, and we start driving up towards Windsor. And she's like, hold on, I'm going to make a stop. And I was like, oh, no. Well, she stopped to pick up her husband. And this guy was oh, lit, man. He was, he was trashed. Well, we get up there. We get through the border, no problem. We're like, okay, we're, you know, we're going to take my mom to the train station. Okay, no problem. We get to the train station, and she's late. She missed the train. And they aren't running another, another one for like a week. So we're like, okay, we'll go back home. Well, we don't get through back to the United States as easy. We got our birth certificates. This is before we need the passports. Yeah, before 9 11. Yeah. <laughs> we show the birth certificates. Everybody's good, except the driver lady. Uh -oh. oh, well, I, you know, I don't have a birth certificate for the United States. I was born in Japan, and I went, oh my God. <laughs> it's like audibly, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Come to find out, she's pretty trash, too. We're riding around with two drunk drivers. And I thought, oh, my God, if I ever get out of this. And so she couldn't produce a birth certificate. They kicked us out of the car, detained us. And they start ripping through her car, just like you was talking about. And they pulled out so many bottles of vodka and whiskey out from under the seats. And I thought, well, 
I'm never. I'm. They're empty. Just open containers. And I was like, I am never getting home, am I? Ah, so this is what we gotta put together next. Oh yeah. What? Oh, the brutes. That is. You gonna make them bright yellow like that? I bet Drew no, would like that. No. 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 <laughs> That's a no, lot of no. yellow. No. 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 Oh my gosh. Oh, I should just do a video on putting these things together. I tell you, man, I just, I have to do everything modular because I just can't aim my brush around some of those corners. Look at this. You pick out a couple, do like some, a uh, couple of them that you're going to scrape, a couple you already scraped. No, this is normal. This is Citadel for yeah. you. Uh... Now I know which ones to do and which which parts not to do. <laughs> uh, I was gonna put these together tonight, but I think I'm done, man. These things yeah, I think dry. we uh, did did pretty good tonight. Let yeah. everything dry and wash it later and, and wash the the bases and show it to mm -hmm. Drew and then primer coat them and and throw them in a box or a primer coat, mm -hmm. but clear coat them. I did that one time. Thought I was grabbing the clear coat. And I grabbed the the primer instead. Oh no! Yeah, it went good. Oh, it went that's yeah. bad. The dungeon journeyman, he's in here with us. Oh, uh -huh. who is this guy? I don't know, but he arrived just in time for us to sign off for the night. I know. Let's see here. Oh. Oh, oh he gone now. Somebody reacted to one of my posts. I've got a Facebook group here. It's called Empowered Miniature Painters. Let me put it in here. And it's uh, mainly it's a group to empower people that um, have physical disabilities mm -hmm. that need help painting. And uh, let's see here. I'll send it to you. You can put it in there. And like, um, like, you know, we got people in there with with the shakes and stuff like that. And, yep. And so I've got that. And it's just, you know, because a lot of people get really negative on, on social media and be like, oh, that sucks. Why do you even do this? Because you are horrible at what you do. And, um, and to Most me, people it's are like, bad. Like, y'all yeah. need to uplift everybody. Like, yeah, that's the whole point of it is to uplift people and to um, just show them that, hey, you can do do this too so but anyway all right everybody i thank you for joining us tonight and i am getting ready to sign off and i'll see you guys on north foundry's channel friday